What's up, everybody? I'm Cam. I'm Ryan, and you're right, right on, on time. time. Today's show is all about a time of the day that's not always fun, chore time. Yeah, I'm not really a fan of the whole chore thing, but I think I've been doing chores basically since I was born. Yeah, my family is really big into the whole pulling your weight around the house thing. But there was always one chore that I really enjoyed doing. <laughs> Let me guess, you're a dishes kind of person. Mm, good guess, but not quite. I actually really enjoyed laundry. No, oh, I can't, I, I cannot do laundry. Wait, why not? I am terrified of feet, the socks. Uh, I can't, I cannot even. Uh-oh, mm. Cam. <laughs> oh, I know, I've been bracing myself all day. Well, hey, maybe this will help you overcome your fear because it's time for today's Daily Challenge. <laughs> Oh man, I am so nervous. Don't worry, Cam. We left the feet out of the socks. Okay, so here in this basket, we have a whole bunch of clean socks that match each other. But they're just not matched right now. So we're gonna have 60 seconds to try and match as many of the socks as we can. Yep, whoever matches the most in 60 seconds will be the winner. You ready, Cam? I don't know, but I guess there's no better time than now to find out. Oh man, I really do love laundry. One, two, three, go. So many, okay, is that one? Yeah. Lot. There's, uh, one. there's one, okay. Wait, 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 wait. I think it's so, one. There's so ah. many socks in here. Oh, this one has puppies. There's a big one. There's a big there's floofy one. one. Another one. Many socks. Floofy socks. Okay. Orange. I see orange. Yep, I'm just, I gotta go by color That's here. Princess and a fox. Red. Hedgehog. There was another head. Hedgehog. There's so many different colors. Hedgehog. Uh, I see pineapples. Uh, pineapples. I'm, I'm not gonna look for uh -huh. pineapples. Why not? There, there, there's another one. Okay. <laughs> Good. Uh, mermaid, mermaid socks. That, that one's way too boring. I can't match that. Okay. Uh, well, there's, there's, a, there's a hedgehog again. Uh, there's a lot of hedgehog socks. I think. Purple. Um, oh, 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 oh! There's our, there's our Christmas socks. Okay. Got a, ooh, Christmas socks. Oh, no, I was gonna take that one. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, these match? Those? Yes. Those? Those? I think they match. Yes. Uh, are there bees? No. Oh, come on. Uh, bats, bats and bees don't match. Uh, oh, not cool. Uh, so many socks. Okay, how many pairs did you uh, get? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Oh. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I guess that means I've been <laughs> defeated. Oh. <laughs> I guess it really wasn't that bad after all. All right, everyone, get on your feet because we're gonna celebrate by singing a victory song. <laughs> Touch the sky. Stop your 
feet if you feel the beat now Lift your voice and sing it loud Everybody sing it out now to our theme today, chores. Now, love them or hate them, chores are just part of life. You know, one time my mom gave me a super long list of chores to be done before I could go hang out with my friends. I'm not even gonna lie, I was so tempted to just do a little and hide the rest of my closet. Well, tell me you didn't do that. Well, I didn't do that. <laughs> but I also didn't get to go hang out with my friends. Hey, that's a bummer, why not? Well, since I didn't want to do my chores, I kept putting them off and then by the time I got started, I wasn't able to finish in time to hang out. Man, I would have been super upset. I mean, I was definitely not happy about not hanging with my friends. But while I was searching for funny videos earlier that day, you know, when I was avoiding cleaning, I actually came across something that made me want to do the right thing. Hey guys, do you ever have a hard time remembering all the stuff you have to do? Like making your bed, doing the dishes, hanging up your towel, or feeding your Chinese water dragon? I don't really like doing chores, and I would never remember to do them if it weren't for this chore monster app. When it gets down to it, the only reason I do these chores is I'm learning to do what is right to other people. When I take care of the things on this list, it feels good because it's the one small thing that I can do to help my mom and my Chinese water dragon. Helping other people is something this guy, Joseph, got really good at. You see, Joseph had a series of unfortunate events. He was hated by his own brothers and sold as a slave in Egypt where he worked for a man named Potiphar a royal official to this guy named Pharaoh. Joseph worked hard by doing all the chores that Potiphar needed him to do. Now, I'm sure it wasn't easy for Joseph to keep doing the right thing for Potiphar. Can you imagine being forced to do something like being a slave and still working as hard as you could? It would definitely be too hard for me. But Joseph knew that God had put him in Potiphar's house for a reason. Because Joseph did the right thing, God made him successful in all that he did. Doing the right thing paid off because Potiphar noticed and put Joseph in charge of the whole house. Not only did life get better for Joseph, but God blessed Potiphar too. As long as Joseph was in charge, Potiphar didn't have to worry about a thing except for the food that he ate. That's kind of like you getting a phone call from the president asking you to run the White House so that he could chill out and eat all the ice cream and pizza that he wanted. Pretty crazy, right? It's so easy to see how doing what's right to other people is exactly what God wants from us. Just like he rewarded Joseph with good things, there's good things he'll give us too. Even when we're doing something as small as feeding a Chinese water dragon, there's a reward. So remember, no matter what we're asked to do, God wants us to do what is right to others. Wow, I can definitely see how that story helped you to do what's right. Well, Joseph's life was a lot tougher than mine, mm. and he still chose to work hard and do what was right. And God saw Joseph's heart and rewarded him. Well, hold on a second. You said that you didn't get to go hang out with your friends, so it sounds like you didn't get a reward after all. Well, not that time I didn't. But a couple days later, my friends were going to the skate park, and my mom told me that she would cover my chores <laughs> so that I could go have fun. So doing what's right didn't exactly pay off right away, but my reward came later. Plus, it felt really great to help my mom. <laughs> that was such a tough choice you had to make. It was, at first. And you know, because I knew that my mom was not going to come into my room and go searching for messes, I totally could have gotten away with it. But doing the right thing, especially when no one is watching, is what it means to really do the right thing. Wait. What? Well, I guess I just mean that if others see you doing the right thing, that's cool. But when no one's watching, if you still do the right thing, well, that's what it looks like to love God with all your heart. Ooh, that's good. But have any of you ever done something that you knew was the right thing to do, and you did it even though no one was looking? Sure about a time when you did what was right when no one was looking. Hmm. <gasps> so. This is a story about how my friend needed help and I stepped in. See, my bestie and I were playing on the playground one day when I looked over and saw a second grader getting bullied. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. 
I walked over and asked what was going on. The older kid told me nothing was happening, but I totally knew that wasn't true. The older kid walked away, and I asked that little second grader if she wanted to play on the playground with me and my friend, and she did. I did what was right, even though no one else really saw it happen, because it was just the right thing to do. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. I'm so glad that they did what was right and stepped in to help. Well, time out. That sounds a lot like acting with justice. You know, from the Micah 6, 8 Bible verse we heard about last week. The word justice is all over the Bible because God loves everyone and wants all the people he made to be treated right and fair. One place you'll find the word justice is in Micah 6, 8, where it says, the Lord has shown you what is good he has told you what he requires of you. You must act with justice. You must love to show mercy. And you must be humble as you live in the sight of your God. But what does it mean to act with justice? Let's take a minute to break it down. To act is to do something. It's the opposite of being lazy or ignoring what needs to be done. And justice is what's fair and right. So when you act with justice, you are doing something to make sure a situation is fair and being done the right way. In short, acting with justice is just doing what's right. Sometimes that's easier said than done. It may look like picking up a piece of trash that someone dropped on the ground, but other times it might look like telling someone to stop when they are making fun of another person. Doing the right thing is what Micah 6.8 says that God requires of us as his followers. Because when we act with justice, we do what's right. So when the Bible talks about acting with justice, it's talking about doing what's right. Yep, and it's especially important to do what's right when things don't seem fair. Oh, totally. Sometimes things are gonna seem unfair or out of our control, but with a little practice, we can make the choice to do what's right. Let's try it out right now with a game we can all play. Yeah, it's game time. Okay, with chores, someone is telling you what to do. So for this game, we're going to all play Simon Says. But there's a catch. There's always a catch, isn't there? Pretty much. Here's how it's going to work. I'm going to be Simon telling everyone what to do. Our viewers at home will be doing what Simon Says too. Okay, that just sounds exactly like normal old Simon Says. Where's the catch? Well, I'm so glad you asked. Wait, what are these? <laughs> Those are the headphones you're going to wear while I call out the Simon Says commands. Well, but then I won't be able to hear what Simon is saying. Yep, you'll have to read my lips. <laughs> okay, you ready? I guess so. Okay, Ryan, headphones on. Great, here we go. Simon Says jump up and down. Jump up and down, okay. Simon Says stop. Simon says what? Simon says rub your tummy. Oh, uh, rub your tummy, yep, okay. Simon says touch your nose. Simon says touch your toes? Is it? Stop. Simon says stop. Oh, Simon. Simon says spin in a circle. Spin in a circle, okay. Simon says run in place. Uh, Simon says touch your face? Simon says stop. Simon says drop, okay. Whoa. <sighs> wow, that was so fun. How'd our viewers do? Poor Ryan didn't really have a fair shot. Oh, uh, man, that was so tough. For a minute there, I was ready to call it quits. I know that wasn't fair at all, but I'm proud of you for pushing through and doing the right thing just because you knew it was the right thing to do. Well, thanks, Cam. And with everything we've learned today, I think it's time for Rapid, Rapid Fire, Fire Review. Review. Yes, this is such a fun game. Okay, one of us is going to recap everything we've learned today in one minute or less. But there's a fun catch to this game. While one of us is reviewing, the other one is going to be throwing things. If the reviewer is able to name six things we've talked about today during that minute, the thrower has to put their hand in the mystery box. But if the reviewer doesn't name at least six things during the minute, they have to put their hand into the mystery box. And since today is all about chores, I heard that what's in the box is something you would not want to have as a chore. Oh no, something I wouldn't want to do? Mm -hmm. I can think of a few chores I wouldn't want to do. Me too. All right, time to decide who goes first. Okay. Um, um, I'm thinking of a number. Right, between one and 10? Let's go with seven. Whoa, are you a mind reader? <laughs> Do 
you didn't get it? You totally got it. The number was seven. All right, you gonna pass or play? Mm, I want to be the thrower. I'll let you review. All right, safety goggles on. And I'm ready. Okay, so we learned that we can do what's right even if no one is watching. Uh, we talked about Micah 6, 8 and how God has told us what is good. Uh, we saw that we're going to be faced with choices to do what's right and what's wrong and that well, God wants us to do what's right. Uh, we sang a song about it and we broke it down. Uh, oh, and we learned about how Joseph worked for Potiphar and his wife was not cool and she tried to make Joseph do something wrong and lied about him. Okay, yeah, not cool. Um, I think that's it. Uh, no, no, wait. Uh, we did hear a story from one of our friends about doing what's right even when it's hard or when no one's looking. That's it, that's it, boom sauce. Wow, that was amazing, Ryan. Hey, now it's your turn to put your hand in the mystery box. Oh boy. <laughs> oh man, I can't wait to see what it is. All right, so this is something I would not want to do as a chore. Okay, I, um, okay, I feel something liquid like water. There's a plastic and then, oh, let's see, there's, okay, there's a bristly thing. Oh, wait, wait, I think I know. I think it's cleaning a toilet, but it feels too small to be a toilet brush. Take a uh, oh man, you literally almost had it. Wait, well, did I not get it? Well, the technical answer was cleaning a toilet with a toothbrush. Oh, I see. Yeah, I would definitely not want to do that at all. But hey, somebody's got to do the chores around here. While I do my chores, you guys check this out. Hey everyone, we learned so many cool things today. Doing the right thing can be hard, and we need God's help. So let's pray together and ask him for help right now. Father God, thank you for loving us. We know that you want us to do the right thing even when no one but you can see it. But that is hard sometimes, and we need your help. Show us what the right thing is and help us to make the best choice. You are such a good father, and we love you. Amen. I'm gonna be praying that every day. Well, Ryan, are you ready to find out what our next challenge is gonna be? Yes, let's have it, I'm ready. Oh my goodness. No way, <laughs> that's gonna be hilarious. I'm so ready. 